An Anderson woman swept away in her car by flood waters. It all happened on Thursday on Snow Road when the upstate was getting hit hard with severe weather. It's an interview you'll see only on 7 News. Our Melanie Palmer explains how the woman was able to escape. It was right along this Anderson Road where Martha Snipes was driving Thursday when suddenly her car was swept away and she was pulled into this ditch that was flooded from all the rain. It started up there at the very top of the hill and then like I hit the water coming down. Martha Snipes reliving a terrifying moment in her life. Immediately I just started thinking, oh well, if I don't get out of here, I'm not going to see my kids anymore. She was on her way to her first day of work at a new job. It just happened to be at the same time of the severe weather barreling through town. She says she saw some water on the road and didn't think much of it. Once I hit that big stream of water, the car just started bearing off left. And then I ended up over in the ditch. Water started filling up her car and she tells us she didn't have much time to waste. She jumped to the passenger side and says as she was trying to push open the door, a passerby jumped into action. Another guy had jerked the door open and all I heard him say was, come on, come on. Snipes was pulled to safety, walking away with a concussion, some major bruises, and a warning for you the next time you're left driving in the rain. Take your time and if you start see any water in the road, turn around and go a different way. It looks just like a little stream. It's also a warning Highway Patrol gave just last week. Exercise, common sense, uh, extreme caution. Uh, don't cross those roads where the, the water or the trees are. So this is the aftermath. Snipes' car was totaled in the accident, but she continues to drive down this road day in and day out, saying she will be a little more cautious behind the wheel, especially when the drops start falling. And as you can see right here, there are still remnants from that very heavy rainfall that Anderson saw late last week. And even though Snipes is still recovering from her injuries, she tells us she is just beyond thankful that she did not have her kids in the car at the time of the accident. And Anderson, Melanie Palmer, 7 News. And with more rain coming our way this week, Trooper Hovis has some additional advice. He urges you to always lower your speed when it's raining and increase your following distance with other cars. Additionally, if your car does end up submerged in water, research shows you should move quickly. Officials say you have the highest odds of surviving if you do get out within the first 60 seconds.